motherfucker. Half a million team, dollar boy, man. Whole team, man, man. Tell them for my the whole, whole whole team, team man, man. We out here, man. They try to do us in, man. Fuck that shit crazy. Fuck I still fuck with Dallas, though, man. Y'all my number one city, man. Man, fuck that. Sam's the heavy count. Ice in the city, let me go. Ice. Half a million dollar boy, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. This about the funniest video ever that somebody recorded getting out of jail. Now, let me go. Feel me, Memphis artist signed with Heavy Camp CMG. Um, I believe just CMG. Now, Heavy Camp is probably what probably was a gift. Um, I believe because that's a part of, I believe, Black Youngster. But it's crazy, man. This is crazy. So aside from the fact that he didn't bet, he bonded out his whole squad. Like how loyal that is. You feel me? How loyal that is for him to bond out his whole squad. All right. I want to talk about, as an artist, regardless if you sign to another artist, if you have homies that's willing to shoot, die, fight, whatever the case behind you, you better have a bag. Like, you better have a bag on tuck at all times. You better have a million dollars just for court fees, bond fees. You got to understand, when artists get locked up, for beating up somebody, for, a, a, you feel me, getting sued, getting robbed. They got to have that bread, you feel me? Like, they, they got to have that money because you got to pay the lawyer. Then it depends on who on who all got put in there. You see right here, it's like five, six, seven people. They got arrested with Lil Migo, which is the artist. He had 500000 on Tuck, you feel me? Just by signing with with CMG though, you gotta have like you gonna have a bag regardless. I don't know what the tricks and tips and you feel me what it, what it is about it, but them boys are like they got their bread. You feel me like Black Youngster, Money Bag Yo, like Yo got it like all of them they having it. You feel me? You see him, newer artist probably ain't even been rapping three years, buying out his whole squad for five hundred thousand. You feel me? That's real G. You feel me? That's real. That's what they call real. That's what real should be identified as. Nonetheless, how could one really be speaking on that? You feel what I'm saying? I don't know exactly what happened, the details. I don't know. Uh, I could kind of care less about the details on how that thing happened and what took place upon what or what. You feel me? All I feel is though, it's like, as an artist, this is how it's supposed to go down. This is how it's supposed to be set up as. You feel what I'm saying? None of that BS. Like, if you're going you to be with an artist, you got to know for a fact, all right, if I'm going to be down with you, because a lot of these artists say that, you can't hang around me. All my, all my people around me, A1, you feel me? I could get you touched. This, this, and that. Whatever would ha whatever happened is besides the point. Just know that it happened. They all got arrested. But the fact is, the highlight of the goddamn video is the fact that he paid 500000 large. He dropped that bag to get everybody out. You feel me? That's crazy, man. That's crazy, but it's insp inspiring. You feel me? And I know he like, all right, we took that L. But we finna drop, we finna go crazy to get this 500,000. Plus, we probably need to double up. Feel me? Because this is better now. That's just one of the process about it. A lot of people don't know that. You could easily bail out. Boom, you get a charge, you get arrested. Boom. Oh, you bail, you feel me? 100,000 just for you to get out. All right, boom, you pay that. You still gotta fight the case. Feel what I'm saying? It's crazy, but we're gonna see what happens. You know what No cash. Make sure you leave like, comment, subscribe. We're talking about Blueface again. His OnlyFans reality show has surfaced 
Instagram again. And this time, it's some girl that I think shouldn't be there. Now, when you do a reality show, Blueface, are you aiming towards... I feel like at this point, he have no description. Like, nobody... Nobody is... He don't have a certain requirement to getting in. You feel me? Because it's a bunch of people that just don't get along with people that's inside of the show. You feel me? Um, a, a, As you see in the video clip, prior to me starting this video off, you see a woman that is basically about to throw some sort of glass bowl or something at somebody. Now, we don't see who she's throwing it at. We just see people basically saying, don't do it. It's not worth it. Come on, like, for the love of love, don't throw the glass bowl at this at this person. You feel me? Yet, she's just like, move, move. You feel me? Like, if anything, all right, y'all two getting the gloves. If anything, feel me? If anything. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy and interesting vibe. Personally, I don't know how the show is really ran or how it's run, you feel me? Uh, but in any event, in any event, I feel as though that the show was primarily created upon basically a lot of women just going crazy. You feel me? Just just going crazy towards one another. Personally, I don't feel like it's... What kind of requirements is Blueface accepting? All applications, everybody get accepted at this point. I don't know, man. I don't know where he's getting these females from, but one girl go to her first dentist appointment. Another girl get beat up, going crazy, right? Another girl look like he's she finna obliterate somebody's face with a glassware bowl. You feel me? Like, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, how far, like, how... You feel me? Like, how far are these people willing to go to go crazy like this? You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, I've never seen the actual episode or how it's really ran, how the production is good or not. But very interesting from what I've been seeing on Instagram.